Okay, so it's Chris Ensel here at Richmond Farm, just giving you a bit of a um, an update on how things are going. These are the 91, oh, actually 88. We've got a couple in sick bay at the moment, but 90 odd bulls. Um, they're on twice daily moves. We're kind of probably moving on to around two and a half thousand mixed pasture, uh, maybe a little under. They've just been moved in the last 15 minutes. Um, guess what I'm really going to show you though is the what we've kind of succeeded and failed in. Um, this this is what we're aiming for really. Probably even a tiny bit. Maybe they've eaten some patches out a bit much, but kind of looking for um, utilisation of just the best. So they're kind of just topping it, not much more. You know, you can kind of even see that some of this, like that crimson clover there, hasn't even been touched. That there. Um, and so some stuff not to be t touched, but preferably we're trying to get every plant to have a mouthful out of it and then move on. So we've got that, and then what I did yesterday was went off to the Rangura show to compete in the dog trials, <laughs> and then in doing so didn't get round to coming and moving them. They got a bigger break, but didn't get around to moving them till today um, and move the ewes and lambs which are a little bit more important first so now we're looking at this and you can kind of see that they've eaten too much basically we prefer it to be more like what we're looking at there but a lot of it's a lot of soil showing a lot of it's been eaten down you know to a few a few centimetres, three, four centimetres, whereas we'd rather have it more like 10 centimetres. So the difference, I guess you look at that, it's what we would rather have it like, and that's what a lot of it's like. So um, That means that the plants are going to take longer to recover. They're going to, the roots are going to die back more, so if it was to turn dry tomorrow, they wouldn't, wouldn't have as deep a roots. They also would be the utilisation of the sunlight. <laughs> as in the photosynthesis is reduced because we've taken a lot of that solar panel away. Um, we've probably got a bit more animal impact because they've been on here a bit longer uh, and they're, they're still reasonably tight. So we've got a good spread of manure across a lot of it, but also that'll be concentrated in the places that they've rested and whatever else. So we're, the aim is to kind of have them quite dense but move them regularly like like they are now. You can kind of see they've all crammed into this corner because I'm here probably in part, but yeah. So what we're aiming to have is them to trample, trample what they don't eat a bit, squash it into the ground, especially the green stuff, and that'll be food for the soil microbes. Add to the, um, add to feeding the, feeding the biology in the system and that will in turn get the system going better. The green stuff will also give nitrogen and return a bit of that um, organic matter to the soil in a more digestible form than if it was to go brown and be digested. Alright, that's probably enough of my waffling for today. Um, the bulls are pretty happy, looking pretty good. Um, most of them still doing a bit of the riding stuff, but that's just what they do unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's all part of the fun I guess.